Look, I hate talking about this because uh, the Great War was horrific. The Second World War was even worse. And a new global conflict would be, by several orders of magnitude, worse than anything we've ever seen before. I mean, the statement of uh, Einstein, um, you know, I don't know uh, how the next war will be fought, but the one after that will be fought with sticks and stones. I mean, I think, I think there is much in that depressing observation. So I think we've got to do everything we humanly can uh, to avoid it. But weakness is not the way to avoid the next conflict. Uh, weakness is provocative. Uh, the only way to keep the peace is to maintain deterrence. Uh, and that doesn't mean being crazy brave, but it certainly means being strong enough to let any substantial aggressor know that aggression will not pay because the price is just too high. Now, to go to the Ukraine, um, if uh, Ukraine is not uh, supported, at least at the level that it has been up till now, uh, uh, Putin will win because of the disparity of size. Uh, and if Putin wins in Ukraine, uh, there will be a new Iron Curtain at the, very, at the very least, there'll be a new Iron Curtain in Eastern Europe uh, and a new arms race in that important part of the world. Uh, and that's assuming uh, that having taken Ukraine, he won't then go for the other parts of greater Russia, of formerly greater Russia, that he thinks rightly belong to, 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 to Mother Russia. Right. And then in the Middle East, well, look, um, I'm not saying that Hamas acted at the instructions of Tehran, but Hamas is a creature of Tehran, just as Hezbollah is a creature of Tehran. And uh, Tehran is completely committed to the obliteration of Israel, and the Israelis, understandably, are completely committed to their survival. And uh, there is substantial risk of, of escalation. And I guess the difference between the militarist Putin on the one hand, the communist commissars in Beijing on the other hand, and uh, the apocalyptic Islamists, is that at least Putin and Xi are broadly rational, uh, whereas the apocalyptic Islamists are not rational in any meaningful sense. Uh, they believe that uh, death uh, in the pursuit of jihad um, is not something to be risked, but avoided if possible. Uh, they think this is, uh, in a sense, the culmination of right. life on Earth.